Hey everyone, my name is Lisa Kraft. I am an agent success manager with Premier Companies, and I have the privilege of introducing our presenter today. It's Carmen Romack, and she is a national account manager with Anthem. And today she's going to be going through a walkthrough on their new innovative Medicare supplemental plans, showing you the benefits of these plans and why you should be offering them. Um, so without further ado, uh, Carmen, on to you. All right, thank you, Lisa. Um, good morning, everybody, and thank you uh, to Premier for inviting me to speak with all of you today about our fairly new uh, Medicare um, MedSEP Innovative Plan. Um, I appreciate the time. I know everybody's busy, so again, thank you for taking time to listen. Um, we're going to go ahead and, and launch into the presentation. Um, I, I had shared with Lisa that, you know, all of you are welcome to get a copy of this presentation. So you don't have to, you know, write everything down. You can certainly have a copy um, as, a, as a reference tool. So here we go. Um, first of all, here's my contact information. Again, my name is Carmen Romack, and I am a, a national account manager with Anthem. Um, just a little bit about me. I, I call on field marketing organizations like Premier. Premier is one of my accounts and um, you know they do a fantastic job and really happy to be working with them and all of their agents. Um, and, and one other thing, I will have a couple of our regional sales managers who had planned to join as well. Um, just so everybody knows, the, the purpose of the training is to really dive into the innovative Medicare supplement benefits. We're gonna go through some other information first to give you an idea of you know, who Anthem is as a corporation in case some of you maybe aren't familiar or haven't been telling us. Um, but the, the RSMs that I have joining um, are, one is from, Cal well, they both cover California. Jill Mattern covers California and Nevada. Um, she covers like the San Diego, you know, the southern part of California. And then Michelle Lawahi, she covers the Los Angeles Ventura County. I've invited them to attend as well because we only offer this product in three states right now, and that's California, Nevada, and Kentucky. So you might want to make just maybe a note of that. We've got fantastic plans, you know, in other states, but but I'm not going to really dive into those because the purpose of this training is is really to educate you more on the innovative products. So it's kind of giving you a, an overview of, of what to expect. You'll have their contact information at the end of the presentation. In fact, I've got a, a sheet in there that's going to give you contact information for all of our regional sales managers in the state of California because, you know, it's, it's a bit of a, a large state, so we have several of them there. So, okay, without further ado, um, the Anthem value. Now, I promise to you that I will not read every slide to you as we go through this training. That is so boring. But this one, I am going to read because it kind of sets the, the tone for the training and, you know, understanding Anthem a little bit more. Um, so bear with me. Um, with Anthem, you and your clients are getting over 70 years of trust and experience. Collectively, the Blue Cross systems provide health care coverage for 100 million people or one in three Americans. Chances are that one of your clients has had health benefits with us before. While times may have changed, we're still helping people feel secure with the right coverage for their individual needs. As your clients approach that all-important milestone of becoming eligible for Medicare, we'll continue to provide reliable, quality coverage and flexible options as their health care needs evolve. When your clients select the Anthem Supplement Plan that's right for them, they can expect to have those same benefits year after year. We won't change the benefits that are covered every year like other types of plans do. The premiums, coinsurance, and deductibles may be adjusted every year, but the plan itself will not change. The plan they pick today will be the same plan that they have 10 years from now, unless they decide to make a change. With a Medicare supplement plan from Anthem, your clients are free to go to any doctor, specialist, or hospital in the country that is Medicare approved without having to worry about referrals. In fact, nine out of 10 Anthem Blue Cross Medicare supplement members tell us they are satisfied with access to the doctors and hospitals of their choice. They're free to rely on coverage for coinsurance and deductible that original Medicare doesn't cover and enjoy the security of knowing their benefits won't change, even if their health needs do. You can help your clients choose from plans with 100% coverage of basic benefits, including preventative care services. Our plans offer skilled nursing facilities, Medicare Part B excess charges, foreign travel emergencies when they're out exploring the world. 
just as important, they're free to enjoy the reliability, reputation, and services that only Anthem can offer. Okay. Uh, come on, move forward. There we go. Oh. Okay, why Anthem? Well, trust is one of the of the reasons that you know your members would want to choose Anthem. Anthem, excuse me. We have 74 million people served by Anthem or one of our affiliated companies, including approximately 40 million enrolled in a family of health plans. Our parent company is one of the nation's leading health benefit companies. Experience, we're a provider of healthcare benefit, uh, a provider of healthcare benefit since Medicare began. So we're, we're stable. We've been in this market um, for a really long time. Um, we're not going anywhere. We're just improving our products and expanding the product offering. And with customer service, we've got a state-of-the-art concierge call center. It's open, you know, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., five days a week. During AEP, we're actually open seven days a week to make sure that we're meeting your needs. So about Anthem as a corporation a little bit, wanted to provide more intel. Um, we're working to transform healthcare with trusted and caring solutions. Our health plan companies deliver quality products and services that give members access to the care that they need. So just a few statistics. You saw some of these numbers in the previous slide. We serve over 74 million beneficiaries. Um, one in eight Americans have uh, have an Anthem or Anthem subsidiary plan. We are a Fortune 40 company, um, which is pretty cool, um, with an operating revenue of more than 84 billion as of December 31st, 2016. So that number is going to be changing. We need to get the updates on that. Um, our affiliated health plans serve approximately 40 million medical members. So I just mentioned that. Anthem has answered more than 58 million service calls and processed more than 732 million in claims representing about $242 billion in health benefits administered to our members. We're committed to the community that we serve. Um, and in six, since 2000, Anthem's given more than $168 million in grants to local and national initiatives through our foundation. Geographic footprint and membership base. I just thought this was an interesting slide. Um, to, to give you an idea of, you know, what product or what markets we, we play in and, you know, what states we serve. Um, there's going to be another slide that here next that will give you a little bit more of a visual. But as you can see here, if you look at the slide here on the left that shows the United States, it just gives you, you know, sort of that color-coded visual, um, you know, where you see blue, those are pure blue states, you know, that we operate in, um, where you see orange, those are going to be, you know, typically where we have both a Medicaid and Medicare presence. Um, and then where you see green, uh, a Medicaid presence. So over here on the diverse customer base, you can see the different markets um, that Anthem, uh, again, plays in. And that is local group is, is really our largest market. Medicare is a growth market for us. Um, it is a fantastic market and one that we're investing a lot of resource um, and expanding, so a good market to be, to be in. Right here, this is the, the slide I mentioned. This is really, you know, it's titled Med Advantage Service Area Footprint, and I know we're talking about MedSup, but again, just to give me an idea of, you know, our landscape. So again, where you see the blue states, those are our Anthem blue branded states. Um, you know, for example, California is branded as, you know, Anthem Blue Cross. You get over here into the Midwest, and the branding is Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Not that all of that matters. What you need to know is that these are the states where we offer products. Where you see green, um, you know, Texas, for example, Tennessee, we offer product there under the Amerigroup brand. Um, Arizona, we're in that market with Caremore, and actually we're just recently um, rolling out a new MedSup product in Arizona. So if any of you on the line sell in Arizona, you know, reach out to, you know, one of our regional, regional sales managers to learn more or reach out to Premier. Premier will give you the information that you need. Um, and then down in Florida, we, we have what's called Simply Healthcare. Um, so anyway, that is just sort of a, a visual of where we operate. So let's go ahead and start talking about Medicare Supplement. Um, you know, I'm a, I know most of you, I would guess that most of you who are on the line are familiar with MedSup plans. But just in case there are some new agents who, who maybe aren't familiar or some folks who haven't sold in this, this product type before, I want to give you an overview. 
Um, so what is a Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan? Well, it's a health insurance policy sold by private insurance companies, <clears throat> excuse me, like Anthem Blue Cross, that must follow federal and state regulations. A member must have Medicare Part A and Part B. Uh, a MedSup plan fills many of the gaps left by original Medicare, including deductibles and coinsurance. It pays second to original Medicare. It's a supplement to original Medicare. Insurance carriers have a choice of 11 standardized plans to offer. Um, here at Anthem, we choose to offer plans A, F, G, and N, and obviously now Innovative F. Um, oh, there I have it. In some states, we also offer innovative plans, California, Nevada, and Kentucky. Medicare beneficiaries, beneficiaries pay their monthly Medicare Part B premium directly to Medicare and a separate premium for the Medicare Supplement Insurance Policy to their selected carrier. So why are people choosing Anthem Medicare Supplement Insurance Plans? Well, you know, here are some of the reasons. They're able to remain on their original Medicare. They can see any provider in the country that accepts Medicare. No referrals are needed. They can choose a plan with no copay. Those are plan Fs and Gs. They can purchase um, a prescription drug Part D plan separately. Um, Medicare Supplement Insurance, it's standardized and easy to use. I mean, a plan F is a plan F for the most part. You know, there's, it's, it's kind of a commodity. There's no differences other than, you know, again, we're offering a new version of that with our innovative plan F. And they're guaranteed renewable. The policies cannot be canceled as long as the member pays their premium and, you know, didn't material, materially misrepresent themselves on the application. Um, you know, some Medicare policies also offer coverage for services um, like traveling outside of the U.S., um, and that's one that, that we do offer. Um, we also provide some other value-added items that, that aren't really part of the plan itself, but are, you know, again, value-added items, not plan benefits. Um, those include elder, elder care support, health and wellness, weight loss programs, and uh, prescription drug discounts through our Medicaid security card, excuse me, medical security card. So, you know, right now, Anthem, you know, we've rolled out a lot of different MedSup plans. We've got a competitive premium, especially on our innovative plans that we're going to be talking about in more detail. Um, so when you consider that we also offer silver sneakers, which I'm, I'm going to talk about more here in a minute, with all of our MedSup products, it makes a really competitive product and one that you really should be marketing and put in your toolbox if you're not already doing so. So discount programs, don't know if everybody's familiar with Anthem's discount programs for MedSup products, but here are those discounts. So when a member enrolls in our automatic bank, bank draft or you know EFT program, they'll save $2 on their monthly premium or if they choose to pay their premium annually, they'll save $48. Um, other opportunities to save include a 5% discount, discount when more than one member in the household enrolls in a Medicare supplement plan with us. And when I say in a household, that does not only mean, you know, husband and wife or, or spouses. That means two individuals who are eligible living in the same home. So it could be, you know, two sisters who are living together. They would still be able to benefit by that 5% five percent discount. So just a distinction there that I want to be sure to point out. Some of the additional features um, that we offer, again, I mentioned earlier the Silver Sneakers membership. Um, you know, again, that, that comes with all of our MedSup plans. Silver Sneakers, um, I am sure most of you are familiar with that, but it provides access to 13,000 fitness locations nationwide at no extra cost. You know, this is a, a benefit that comes, you know, with the MedSup plan. Um, all basic amenities, services, and programs that are available at participating locations, group exercise classes at some sites, most sites. Um, <clears throat> something that, you know, I'm not sure everybody is aware of with Silver Sneakers. You know, if you do have members who perhaps live in an area that, you know, is more rural, per se, and they don't have a gym nearby, a couple of the other options that are offered, um, a member can actually get an at-home kit sent to them. The Silver Sneakers team will send someone a kit, and what's included in there would be things like a pedometer, a jump rope, uh, one of those bands that you can use, like the stretchy bands for, you know, weight resistance, um, some of those types of things. That's another option available to your members to utilize with the Silver Sneakers benefit, you know, if they don't have that gym nearby. 
Um, another thing a lot or, or several of the Silver Sneaker organizations do is they'll actually have um, outdoor meeting sites. So they may actually hold, oh, I'm going to say maybe a yoga class in the park or, you know, a group walking event at a local mall. So it, it's more than just the gym membership. There's more options there. So just want to make sure everybody's familiar and aware of that. The Script Save Prescription Savings Program, with that, a member can save up to 80% on prescription medication at more than 62,000 participating pharmacies nationwide. So, uh, pretty significant benefit. So, the value of Silver Sneakers as a selling tool, um, this slide was actually provided to us by the Silver Sneakers, uh, our business partners. So, I thought these are pretty interesting statistics. Um, if you read through them here, 77% of Silver Sneaker participants indicated that Silver Sneakers was an important reason for joining a plan. 71% uh, of participants have an increased likelihood of recommending their health plan to their friends as a result of Silver Sneakers. 64% of participants report that they would be very likely or somewhat likely to switch plans if Silver Sneakers were not offered. 68% of participants said that silver sneaker, pro, silver sneaker participants report an increased likelihood of remaining with their health plans due to silver sneakers. So that helps with retention as well. And then down here, 37% of silver sneaker participants had never been a member of any gym prior to joining the program. So it really does help improve the health of your members. It's truly, you know, not only you know, a good added value to the product, but it really does help your members stay more healthy. So this slide really just kind of gives you an at glance view of, you know, the plans, again, that we offer through Anthem. Um, you know, again, we've chosen to offer plans A, plan F, and the innovative F, plan G, and plan N. And this just kind of shows you the differences and what's covered on those plans, with A being, you know, the, the least rich, to F being the most rich. And, and truly the only difference between a plan F and a plan G is the coverage of the Medicare Part D deductible. That's the only difference. So now we're at the key slide. This is the one that you know everybody is, is gonna be eager to hear more about. And the next couple of slides is gonna give you, we're gonna give you more information. So with an innovative med, the, it, most of them are plan F. I will tell you up front in Nevada, we offer an innovative um, G plan as well, innovative F and G. But so overall, uh, uh, let me set the tone again. The three states where we have this are California, Nevada, and Kentucky. So with this plan, you get all the benefits that you receive under, you know, a standard or current plan F. But on top of that, embedded into the premium, so no, at no additional cost, you have a hearing and a vision benefit with this plan. So the hearing benefit, the member would receive up to one routine hearing exam every 12 months, a fitting evaluation for their hearing aid, and a $750 allowance towards a hearing device every year. The vision benefit, um, that is gonna be, what you get with that is a low exam copay once every 12 months. And I'll tell you right now, the next slide, I'm gonna give you those numbers, so hold tight. A low lens copay every 12 months, allowance towards brain every two years or 24 months and or an allowance towards contact lenses in lieu of eyeglasses every 12 months. Um, also with this comes our nurse line. This provides access to a registered nurse 24-7 who can assess, educate, and triage symptoms um, at the most appropriate level of care. So, and that's listed on their ID card. All right, let's go to the slide that's going to show you what those amounts are. Um, so let me tell you up front that California and Kentucky, you know, the parameters of the plans are identical. So, you know, the co-pays are exactly the same. Nevada is a little bit different and frankly, a little bit more rich. Um, so here's a summary. Let's step through California. Um, and also in California and Kentucky, it's only the plan F, the innovative plan F that's offered. But like I mentioned earlier in Nevada, we actually offer an innovative F, G, and N. Okay, so for hearing, all three states offer the exact same hearing benefit. So that is, you know, the benefits are available through our vendor, which is Hearing Care Solutions. Um, 
and I was asked, I did a training on this last week, uh, one of the, the people in the audience asked me, you know, how does the, how does the member actually utilize the, these benefits? You know, do they have to do something special? I'll just address that right up front. No, you don't have to, you know, do anything outside of, you know, showing the card. The only thing that I would tell people, and this is the only differentiator here, is that they just obviously have to use a provider that is part of you know, this vendor network. So you need to go to a hearing care solution provider you know, that's in that network. That's the only thing, you know, that you need to make sure you do as a member. Um, so you get one routine hearing exam every 12 months. Again, the fitting evaluation and the $750 allowance towards the hearing device. And again, that is standard for all three states. Where we have just a little bit of differentiation is in the vision. So for California and Kentucky, um, the, the vision benefit includes in and out of network benefits. The in-network benefits are through Insight Network. We offer a $25 exam copay every 12 months. <clears throat> Excuse me. A $25 lens copay every 12 months. A $100 to allowance towards frames every two years. Or if your member prefers contact lenses, then they could receive a $100 allowance towards contact lenses once every year in lieu of the eye classes. You know, and again, that's the exact same you know, parameters in Kentucky. Let's look at Nevada. Um, for Nevada, it also, we also include vision benefits in and out of network. Uh, the in-network benefits are managed through, it's a different vendor, it's access network. So just uh, pointing that out, especially if, you, if you're an agent who sells potentially in both California and Nevada, you just wanna make sure you know that. Um, a $25 exam copay once a year, $25 lens copay once a year. And here's where this, this state is a little bit more rich. In Nevada, we offer a $150 allowance towards frames every two years. Or if the member chooses contact lenses in lieu of frames, they would get a $150 allowance towards contact lenses every 12 months. So a pretty, a pretty phenomenal package. Um, you know, I'm going to tell you that the feedback we're getting from agents who have been marketing this plan, and let me tell you, a lot of them are, um, is that, you know, at first they're, they're, they're asking us, what's the catch? This is too good to be true. You know, what's up? There is no catch. It really is that good. And, you know, again, I'm just going to tell you, if you're not aware of it and you're not marketing it, you're missing a great opportunity um, to market a fantastic product to your beneficiaries and, you know, to make some money as well. And speaking of making money, um, I, I added these slides because in a couple of our states, we're actually offering an agent level bonus right now, uh, in effect right now, to, to just incentivize agents who really haven't given us a look to give us a look. Um, so in Kentucky and Nevada, and you know, I'll show you Nevada here in the next slide, but I, I want to outline you know, what the bonus program is because each state could be slightly different. Um, so in Kentucky, you know, this is just a copy of the slide that went out, you know, to the agent population. Um, Short-term incentives have just been announced for brokers who sell our Medicare supplement plans. For Kentucky, um, it's effective for plans with a July 1st, August 1st, or 9 September 1st effective date. So, you know, it's running for three months. The program rules, um, all sale, all per sale bonus amounts are earned for med sub enrollments for that particular month only. And what that means is when we get down here to, you know, the app count, um, you know, we're, we're going to look at what you sold for July and you'll get paid based on, you know, July 1 sales. And then we'll look at August 1st sales separately from 9-1, you know, that it, it's sales per month. Um, all sale, all per sale bonus amounts are in addition to your standard broker compensation. So obviously this is money that you can make um, in, in addition to what you're paid normally for selling these products. All per sale bonus amounts are non-cumulative. Each month is treated separately, which I had already explained that. How does it work? Well, if you sell three to four approved messed up plan enrollments, you receive an additional $100 bonus per sale. So we're talking three to $400 there. If you sell five to nine, Medicare supplement plan enrollments, you receive an additional $150 bonus per sale. And if you sell 10 or more, it's going to be $225 bonus per sale. So we're talking about $2,250 extra money you could put in your pocket for selling 10 or more apps. And it's not just the innovative MedSup plans. This is for any MedSup 
you know, plan that we offer in these states. So, you know, I don't know if I have anybody on the line from Kentucky, but we have, you know, a, a select network um, in Kentucky. You know, we've, we've got other products there as well. So this bonus applies to any product that you sell. So great opportunity to make some money. Uh, the next slide here is our Nevada agent level bonus, which also is available right now. For this particular bonus, um, it's effective, you know, unfortunately the ship has sailed for June 1st, but also for July 1st effective, you know, we're, we're kind of getting, you know, down to the wire here. I don't know if it'll be extended, but this is what I have for right now. Um, it is structured a little bit different than the Kentucky bonuses, and, and that's because it's a different market. Um, so selling just one meds up plan can earn you a $75 incentive, but you can get even more than that. So all you need to do is, you know, leave this training, go sell a, a med up in Nevada, and boom, you've got $75. Two enrollments will, will earn you an additional $100, three, an additional $125, for a maximum bonus of $300 for selling just three new meds up policies. So, you know, again, just, you know, another way for us to, to kind of, you know, create a little bit of buzz and, and encourage agents that haven't looked at selling us to, to give us that look. Okay, so now you know about the product and that, you know, that's like the key information about this training or, you know, that I wanted to get across with this training. But I'm gonna take the time, you know, why I have you here to cover a few more items like enrollment, marketing, things along those lines. Um, enrollment period, you know, open enrollment is probably the best time to buy a MedSup insurance policy. Uh, MedSup, the MedSup open enrollment period starts on the first day of the month in which, you know, a, you know, a member um, is both age 65 or older and enrolled in Medicare Part B. Open enrollment period lasts for six months. They can pick a MedSup insurance plan of their choice. Guaranteed issue rights. Um, these are most commonly available if you, if you or if your current health coverage changes in some way. Um, your plan options during this period might be limited. In most situations, you need to apply within 63 calendar days of the change in your health coverage. Okay. Uh, Inproducer, hold on. Inproducer um, is our enrollment tool. Um, it's, it's fairly new. It's not brand new. It, it's been out for well over a year now. So, you know, if you're someone who has not looked into using this, um, I highly encourage that you do. It's a really slick tool. Um, it's web-based, so it, it's really easy to use, and you can, you know, you can have your laptop, your, your iPad with you when you're sitting down meeting with a, with a client. You can search their doctors, their medications right there with them. Um, upload their scope of appointment and and obtain a secured um, digital signature, you know, all right there. So it's really easy to use. Um, you know, it, some of the things you can do, you can manage, you can manage your customer base, your book of business. You can upload your scope of appointment, um, even independently of the application capture process, and you can transfer the application to the customer. Um, the way you access the in producer. Uh, tool is through your producer toolbox and it's just a single sign-on process um, for those of you who, who used it we have you know used to have agent data entry or online store might be what you're familiar with that has been retired so you know we're driving everybody to the in producer tool and you know also with this you can quote and manage you know I just mentioned you know you can look up all their doctors etc um, and capture applications in a streamlined flow that's easier to follow let me go to the next slide. Um, this slide just shows you how to access in producer through the producer toolbox. Again, you'll get this deck, so you know you can have this as a, as a resource. Um, you know, one thing I want to mention is that there are you know constantly webinar trainings offered to agents who you know want to to learn a little bit more about this tool. So I would highly recommend if if you are interested, join or sign up to attend one of the webinars. All you need to do is go into our um, a broker uh, RSVP website and Premier can, can send that link to you, anybody who doesn't have it. Um, on that site, it's all the training opportunities that we have in every state. So it could be webinars, in-person training, you know, it's just a really good tool for you to, you know, kind of bookmark. Um, and, and I'll tell you right now, you know, we're getting ready to, you know, start, we've already got a lot of our 2019 or AEP roadshows scheduled. 
So just kind of putting a plug in for that too. You might want to go out there and see when, you know, one is, is scheduled for, you know, your area near you and go ahead and get signed up so that you don't miss out on learning about next year's benefits. So a little plug for that. That's not really part of my presentation, but since we're talking about it. Um, so, you know, again, just some additional key benefits, you know, of, of using InProducer. You know, again, you can use it on a mobile device. Um, you know, the application camp capture flow is built to mirror, you know, the, the application, the paper app, so it flows nicely. Um, the digital signature capability, you can create and store electronic scopes of appointment. You can upload them with an electronic application. And you can even, you know, do the document image capture. So you can take a picture and upload, you know, that through this tool as well. So really, really nice. Um, the next topic I'm going to touch on just a little bit is just to make sure everybody's familiar with our custom point marketing website. Um, you know, once you're, you're, you know, certified. Oh, I did not mention this. This is a big thing to mention. Just to make sure everybody understands, you know, going back to, to marketing MedSup products. Um, with MedSup, you do not need to go through all of, you know, the AHIP and the product certification, all the things that you need to do to market a med advantage plan, you know, which is a little bit more complicated, that is not required to market a med sub plan. All you need to do is to be licensed and appointed to market those plans. So it's an easier ramp up period um, or ramp up experience. You just, you don't need to go through all of the training that you do for a med advantage. Um, you know, obviously I, I highly encourage agents to sell both products. But I just wanted to mention, because, you know, if, if you're not, if you're maybe new, for example, you know, you've just signed on with Premier and you're, you're going to take your, your training to sell, you know, your, to become certified for next year. Um, but in the meantime, you want to market some MedSup products, you can, you can totally do that. Okay, so custom point, um, you know, this, once you become certified, um, you get an access code and it gives you the ability to log into a custom, custom point site. Um, and what you can do here, you know, the number one task that most agents use this for would be to order sales toolkits or, or sales kits, I should say, enrollment kits. So, you know, applications, that type of thing. Um, you know, that's, this is the site you go to to order that. But on top of that, you know, you can, we've got a lot of, you know, CMS approved marketing tools out there like brochures, flyers, et cetera. You know, everything's already been approved. Um, you can personalize a lot of those marketing brochures and flyers with your own information. You can even upload a photo. You know, there are some rules around that, you know, what it needs to look like. Um, you know, it can't be somebody at a party with a red solo cup. Nope, that's not going to fly. But a, a nice business uh, photo would certainly be appropriate. And, you know, like I said, there's rules around that and we can get you more information. But you can personalize them so you can drive, you know, the customers to contact you. Um, we've also got several cards, you know, birthday cards, thank you cards, different types of cards that just help you stay in touch with your, with your members throughout the year. Um, so, you know, if you haven't checked it out or gone in and looked at what's available, you know, I highly recommend that you do that. Um, on this, this slide right here, it just shows you how to access the toolkit, you know, a couple different ways to get in and, and, and look around. Um, this is what I typically do when I go in. I'll hit, you know, my state that I'm interested in um, through the shop button, and then I select the product. So am I going to look for a MedSup marketing uh, tool, or am I going to look for MedAdvantage? And then from there, I'll select the material type, you know, different options that are out there. So it's really easy to navigate. Um, a couple uh, tips for the toolkit. Remember that ordering through the sales toolkit is the only way that you can ensure that you're getting compliant materials. You know, all of, you know, the, the, the Medicare marketing guidelines change, you know, often. Um, several disclaimers have changed. So any older pieces that you have, you'll, you'll want to dispose of them. And make sure you've got the latest and the greatest. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if you've got questions about using, you know, the Custom Point Toolkit, you can reach out to this, um, to this email address right here, and they'll answer you within 24 hours or less. Um, and if you have, if you need help with Custom Point, you can call our senior agent support team at the numbers listed here, or use this email address. And again, you'll get a very quick response. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So the next couple of slides, I wanted to just show you what a couple of, you know, options look like. 
you know, that you can use from the custom point tool. Um, so this one right here, this is non-personalized. It's, it's a flyer. Um, you can just kind of see it's a real quick, you know, postcard flyer. So pretty basic, but this is just an example of what one would look like. And the next one right here, this is one, If you, it might be kind of hard to see, but down here, you know, this is the area, oops, come on cursor, get where I want it to go, right here. This would be where you could insert your personal information, your photo would go there, you know, I'm you know, Jane Doe, this is my contact information, my license number, da, 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 all of that, you know, you can set that up to be personalized. This is actually an example of our innovative MedSup Plan F flyer that is out there in the toolkit for the state of California. So, you know, this is one, you know, you might really want to take advantage of. And it just outlines what the benefits are, um, and again, that you can personalize. So there's an example of what you can get by going out to the Custom Point Toolkit. Um, and, and as I mentioned up front, um, we've got regional sales managers in every state that we market in. Um, again, since this plan is only offered in the three states of Kentucky, California, and Nevada, I've included the regional sales manager information for those three states. Um, you know, we're all here to help you and Premier succeed. So please don't hesitate. If you've got any questions, you need, you need some information, whatever the case may be, any of these folks are more than happy to help you out. Um, we have organized California by the counties that the regional sales managers serve because again, it's, it's a big state. Um, so I had mentioned that Jill, I, I think Jill has joined. Um, she covers California, you know, the, the Riverside, San Bernardino and San Diego counties, as well as the state of Nevada. And then the other regional sales manager that had planned to join today, and I, I don't know if she is or not. Let me look and see if I've got them on here real quick. I didn't look. I'm here, I'm not sure. you, Michelle. Okay, fantastic. Thank you, Michelle. So Michelle Wahi, that was Michelle. She she's on too. <clears throat> Excuse me, and she covers Northern Los Angeles and Ventura County. Excuse me, everybody. And uh, and then you can see the other folks here in in the counties that they cover. So again, you will get a copy of this deck. You know, if you want to jot down their name and information, that's fine, too. Um, so, you know, if you happen to be somebody who sells in Fresno, for example, then you're going to want to reach out to Corey Platt. So with that, I have covered everything that I had planned to cover. I want to thank you again for your time. And, you know, at this point in time, you know, Lisa, are we able to go ahead and, and take some questions? Um, if, yeah, if folks sure have can. any. Um, I don't see any questions at this point as of right now. Okay. Uh, there are no no questions in the chat here, so um, we appreciate everything you've done, though, Carmen. Thank you for putting this on for us, and we do appreciate Absolutely. everyone who has attended as well. And if you guys have any follow-up questions or any interest more in the product, just contact one of our health teams here at Premier. And again, that phone number is 800-365-8208. And uh, just get in touch with us. So. Thanks again, Carmen. We appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime. All right. All right. Everybody have a great... Are you sure there's no questions? I mean, I must have just covered it so well that awesome. there's no you questions. You were in pretty good I'm detail just, there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Not as of right now. Well, we're good to go. All right, Lisa. Well, if anybody has questions, you know, after the fact, you know, again, you can reach out to Premier, you can reach out to the regional sales manager, or you can reach out to me. So we're all here to help you. So just keep that in mind. All right. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Again. I appreciate your time. All right. Take yep. care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Hey, Kevin, are you on the line? Hello, good afternoon. Hey, Kevin, it's John. How are you? Hey, I'm great. How are you, John? I'm doing fine. Thank you. Hey, I got your presentation folded into the overall one, so okay. we don't have to worry about flipping it if you don't want to. Um, you just yeah. tell me next when we get to your part, and I'll slide on to the next slide. So okay. we're ready Let's, to roll. If, Cool. If you don't mind, do you, can you, we try real quick to just hand me the, the screen and see sure. if it'll work when I share mine? Sure. Are you uh, on the system? Yeah, I'm in right now. Okay. We are now kicked over. The You are the presenter as of the moment. Can you see my screen? I, I'm accepting your invite right now. Oh, okay. So it should be kicking over to my screen. You tell me if you can yep. see it. Yep. Sure can. I, I just have the go to webinar thing up there right now. Yep. Um, so I did one of these a couple of days ago, um, and we got on early and did the same thing, and it worked fine before we started the webinar. But then when we did start the webinar and they tried to hand it over to me after they did a couple of their slides, um, it, we couldn't get it to show. So okay. that's why I went ahead and sent it, sent it to you just in case. Yep. Um, so, well then, let's just let's just roll with not having to worry about switching control. Okay. Because I got it folded right into the middle. You just tell me next slide, and we'll slide forward. That works for me. That's perfect. Okay. That works for me. A little pressure off of you, and me both. Fold it back. Yep. There we and go. Then I see the I see the screen. So. All right. Cool. That works. We should be good. I'll start good. in five minutes. We'll have her ready to roll, uh, but she's all folded in, all purdy, and that way we can uh, I can make a um, PDF out of it and use it as part of the follow-up. Excellent. That sounds good. We've got 45 RSVPs. Um, right now it's showing seven that are logged in. So we got, you know, the people that pop in the moment. But what we'll do is yeah. not only send a follow up and the list out so people call, but um we're going to do another uh e blast with the recording embedded in the e blast where they have to register to see the recording and then we can get kind of double fruit out of it, hopefully. Nice. Okay. That sounds great. So that's my story and I'm sticking with it. Cool man. How have you been? Doing okay. How about you? You've been traveling quite a bit. Oh, yeah, man. I've been on the road a lot. I'm in uh, Phoenix right now, actually. Yeah, so what is it, about 2,000 degrees? Uh, <laughs> at least. I think it's either that or they pretty much just go ahead and say surface of the sun is what it feels like. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it's hot. We were out there in July a couple, two or three years ago for a carrier rollout, and at the hotel mm -hmm. I had the metal handrails down steps. Ooh. And I was walking, there were three of us walking to take a picture by a big old cactus plant. And mm -hmm. I let my arm touch that metal railing. Ooh. It burned my arm. Oh, wow. Like it was that bloody hot. So That's insane. Wow. Yeah, yeah you got to be careful with that, that stuff, I guess. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, I I went to a meeting yesterday and it started at 11, so it wasn't the peak of the day, but still already pretty warm. And uh, I wore a sport coat <laughs> and walked in, and I, I went to the wrong side of the building. So I basically ended up having to walk around the whole outside. Oh, man, I was drenched in sweat by the time I got to the right office. Wow. <laughs> God bless heat. Yep, yeah, I'm telling you. I am telling you, but they don't respect us here. Like in in the Texas, they think, oh, y'all aren't that hot. We get pretty hot too. 
Yeah. Not yeah. maybe not, you know, desert hot, but we get pretty hot. But I've heard it's been and raining it, this week and been a little cooler, right? Well, I, I haven't seen any rain, but it's been overcast the whole week and looked like it was going to rain. So, we'll oh, wow. Okay. Well, watch. Yeah, I live a little further up north, like north of yeah. McKinney. And my wife and my son said we got a pretty good chunk of rain yesterday and a little bit on Monday also. Good. We got sprinkle and that was it. Yeah. We'll take any little bit we can get. Absolutely. Well, we're up to 10. Oh, cool. total. Eight attendees, we count as two. Right, right. But we'll stock the other, well, we'll stock them all, but you know, for yeah. you know. My experience with these is usually people tend to jump on right at the start time or yep. maybe even a few minutes after. So I, I expect the numbers will go up. Maybe not hit 40, but, you know, at least scare 40. <laughs> We'll get to follow up out anyway and, and follow up mm -hmm. calls and see what we can do. So thanks for doing Absolutely. this, by the way. So much Oh, man, it. anything. Yeah, it's my pleasure, man. Anything for Premier, anything for you. So anytime you want to do something, let me know. We'll schedule maybe one um, next month or so for the med sub. Sure. That works? Yeah, we can do med sub. Yeah, and, and that's a pretty quick one. If you wanted, we okay. could even like throw throw on an extra ten minutes and do the dental again with that too, just to kind of okay. keep their interest yeah. be, beyond the meds up. Sure, cool. Um, I'll get one scheduled and then invite out to you uh, with a, or get one scheduled and see if the dates work, and then we'll get it going. Yeah, sounds good. I don't have a lot on my calendar for July right now, so hopefully should cool. be pretty open. Okay. Well, we're at one o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and get her started. I'll do a okay. run through of a few slides and then turn her over to you. Just okay, tell me fantastic. when to change the slides. Cool. Thanks, brother. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen only mode. Folks, thanks for coming on the line with us today. My name is John Dubos with Premier Marketing, and we'll be spending the next hour or so going over a portfolio of supplemental insurance products brought to us by Aetna with the Aetna Senior Supplemental Insurance Products Portfolio. We're using this as part of a campaign to help you fill the holes and augment your income stream to yourself and your agency. A little bit about Premier and a little bit of housekeeping up front. Today's presentation is being recorded. It and the PowerPoint of the presentation will be sent to you as some follow-up along with some additional information, um, and that will come to you within the next day or so. A little bit of information about Premier Marketing for those of you who aren't familiar with us. We are one of the national marketing organizations that is part of the Integrity Marketing Program. We have offices across the country. We work with independent insurance agents offering them Vested contracts at the highest possible commission levels available, with recruiting contracts available for those who qualify. We are celebrating our 50th year this year, uh, so we are an organization that not only has the financial backing of the Integrity Marketing Program, but also a history in the insurance industry with a widespread portfolio of products. We are one of the largest organizations when it comes to marketing Medicare products. In the Medicare Advantage arena, we are the largest organization with three of the carriers, uh, United Healthcare, Anthem, and Meridian, and among the top five with just about every other carrier that you can imagine. As I mentioned, we do offer a full portfolio of products, not only Medicare products, but life insurance, short and long-term care, and ancillary products, much like the portfolio we're going through today. And that Medicare Advantage portfolio is a very robust portfolio. Uh, you're going to see a lot of information come out about these programs in the next month or so, so watch for some additional information in that regard, along with additional information on the prescription drug programs, the Part D plans that are available as well. Our Medicare supplement portfolio includes an offering from Aetna that is a very competitive product, so watch for some additional information on future webinars in that regard in the very near future. So we'll spend today featuring the Aetna Senior Supplemental Insurance products and speak to the portfolio of programs that are available to us through contracts with Aetna. 
Uh, keep in mind these programs are available through a contract that is separate from the Medicare Advantage contract, but it is something that we can most certainly take care of you with uh, very easily. Our featured presenter today is Mr. Kevin Moore, and he's the Regional Sales Manager for the West for the Aetna Senior Supplemental Insurance Products. And at this particular point in time, I'm gonna shut up and let Kevin take it away and uh, tell me what to do when it comes time to push the screens. Kevin? Hello, good afternoon or good morning, wherever you may be. Uh, good day to everyone, I should say. And thank you for having me on. Thanks to everyone for taking the opportunity to uh, spend a little time with us. And thanks to Premier and thanks to John. Uh, I just wanna start off by saying that Premier is an excellent organization. John's an excellent partner to work with as is all the people with Premier. So you're getting top notch quality when you deal with this organization. And congratulations again to them on their 50th year in business. So with that being said, John's put my info up here. If you guys would like to take a moment and note my email address, please do so, and my phone number. Uh, I welcome your calls. I actually cover the Western United States. So if you're in that territory and one of the states is listed there in the bottom left-hand corner, that's great. I'm your go-to guy. If you're not, that's okay too. You can still call me. And towards the end of the presentation, I will give you the contact info for the people that do actually work your region in case you want to reach out to them as well. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and flip over to the next slide. And let me just give you a little quick background on our division of Aetna. So we are called Aetna Senior Supplemental Insurance. Uh, basically, we're the old Continental Life Company, if you guys have heard of that. It's been an old Medicare senior product company that's been in business for over 30 years. We're just owned and operated for the last seven or eight years by Aetna, which is a great place for us to be and a great place for Aetna to be. At this point in time, we pretty much manage all of the Medicare supplement business for Aetna, as well as our complete portfolio of cross-selling products as well, which is what we're gonna talk about today. So real quick, just to review, or just to give you a heads up on where we are and what we're, what we're up to most of the time, our office is based in the Nashville, Tennessee area, actually in Franklin, which is a suburb of Nashville. If you're ever in the Nashville area and you'd like to come by and visit, we love to host agents. So please let us know. You can contact me directly. I'll be happy to set up a meeting with you at the home office with some of our folks there. So keep that in mind. Uh, we have a very dedicated agent services team. That's the top priority for us is making sure that you've got the type of support that you need if and when you have an issue with your business, uh, getting commissions, getting policies issued, whatever the case may be. And the same goes for our client services team. So we are also there to take care of your policyholders if and when they experience any problems or issues. We're very focused on business persistency. That's important for you and important for us. We do our absolute best to give you products that are very competitive in terms of not only value and features, but also rates. You know, we want to offer a product that's going to be competitive in terms of what you're going to pay as a client. So that's something that's a top priority for us. We also want to reward you with the highest possible commissions that we can. So we do our best to make sure we've got a great commission structure so that you're getting well compensated. And then we have growing renewals. Most, if not all of our products actually have growing renewals uh, in terms of having lifetime commissions. So you always will have a renewal stream coming in. And then as I mentioned before, we give you cross-selling opportunities. So our core product is the Medicare supplement, but we've completely designed a list or a portfolio, if you will, of products that are there to help fill in the gaps. Um, as you know, Medicare wants to pay less and less, and that means more of the burdens falling on your actual individual Medicare subscribers or your, your clients. So we're trying to help give some products to the market to help make sure that we can fill in those gaps. And that's what we're gonna to cover today. You can go ahead and flip it for me, please, John. Real quickly, we're also an A-rated company by AM Best, which classifies us as excellent. That's good for you to know and good for your clients to know, of course. We operate under four separate charters or entities, which are all listed here. It's gonna be Aetna Health and Life, Aetna Health Insurance Company, American Continental, and Continental Life. Now, all of our products are branded big, bold letters in the forefront of our, pro our kits as Aetna. So you will see Aetna, but you'll also see one of these side brands there. These are just the different entities that allow us to operate and file products with the states. Um, you will see them, but by and large, you're gonna see Aetna more than anything else. 
Go ahead, next slide, please. Real quickly, I always like to share this with everyone that I speak with because I think that this guy, he's our president and CEO, Ty Woolridge. I think he has a very good understanding of the senior market and what it takes to succeed and what it takes to do well. Uh, and he's a great leader for us. He always has interesting things to say. And here's an example of something that he put in our newsletter that we do every month, a few months back. Uh, it's called the Pace Setter. Hopefully you're getting that in your inbox every month from us now. If not, certainly let's get you appointed and registered and get you signed up because there's lots of great info in there. And Ty always writes a piece. And this is just one line out of an article that he wrote and I, it just really resonated with me about who we are as a carrier and what we're trying to accomplish. And he just says, we want to be the last insurer that your clients ever need or want and for as long as they live. Next slide, please. So here's a list of all the products we currently offer. Our core, again, Medicare supplement. We also offer a final expense. Cancer and heart attack or stroke, which we're going to cover today. Hospital indemnity, and the new version of that, the Flex Hospital Indemnity, our nursing facility care, and the newer version of that, which is called Recovery Care, Home Care and Home Care Plus, and then our newest, latest, and greatest product is our dental, vision, and hearing. And all everything from the cancer, heart, and stroke down, we're going to talk about a little bit today. Here's just a quick listing. One thing to know about us is that not necessarily are all of our products going to be available in each state, so I would recommend that you go and pull our product availability chart. I know this one's difficult to see, but just so you know what it looks like, if you go to our website, you can open up the latest version and see exactly which states have which products. So always check that to make sure that the states that you're working in are gonna have the products that you'd like to present. So we're gonna go ahead and kick it off first and foremost with the cancer and heart attack or stroke. This is one of my favorite products to talk about. I'm a big believer in it. I'm actually a policyholder myself. As you can see, it's available in just about every state. Some of the few states that it's not in are usually gonna be states that we just don't do a lot of business in, in general, but we're covering most of the country there. Next slide, please. So what I suggest to everyone is that make it a point, if you're not offering a cancer or a critical illness product now like this one, go ahead and get in the habit of it. It's very valuable coverage that anyone can really use and benefit from, and I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, but basically, the way you would wanna open up a conversation with anyone is you know, just start off with the simple basics. Do you have cancer coverage? Most people do not. Do you know anyone who's had cancer? I promise you most people do. And you can start a whole conversation from there and start showing the value of why it's important to have that type of coverage. Uh, my general statistic is that if you speak to 10 people a week, just go ahead and mention it. Ask everyone that you talk to, and I can promise you, you're going to sell at least three just for asking. So that's opportunity for you to help your clients and also put more money in your pocket. Go ahead, next slide, please. So I won't go into all the stats here. I'll just leave this up here for a few seconds or a few minutes for you to look at it. As you can see, the illnesses that this plan covers are very high risk for everyone. There's a great potential for any of us to be affected by these illnesses, and it's a sad truth. I mean, a lot of these, there's not a lot we can do. We can do our best to live healthy, but these illnesses that are, are you know, out there are really, you know, very non-selective non in terms of how they attack. You know, anyone can get hit with these illnesses at any time, and it can be completely, usually is completely unexpected. So my recommendation is share this information with your clients. If you get our enrollment kits, you'll see this exact page that you're looking at now is going to be in the kits. Share it with your clients. Let them know what their exposure is. Let them know what their risk is. And the thing that no, most people don't realize or understand, and you can go ahead at the next slide, please, is that most of these illnesses, well, not most, all of these illnesses, they're very expensive. They're going to hit you where it really hurts in your financials. And you can see some stats here. Three out of five bankruptcies are due to medical bills, and 20% of all adults in the U.S. struggle to pay those medical bills. Nearly 61% of all cancer treatment costs are indirect, meaning non-medical expenses. And that's something we don't think about. You know, cancer especially, the treatment is very long in most cases, and sometimes that treatment isn't available to you right down the street. Many times you're traveling, sometimes out of state. 
to get the type of treatment that you need for your cancer. Uh, I've heard countless stories on my own of people who had to spend a month at a city that's, you know, hundreds of miles away getting treatments every day at a specialized facility. Well, unless you are fortunate enough to have, you know, free room and board there, then you're going to be paying for the expenses to not only get there, but to stay while you're there. Last time I checked, it's not uh, not cheap to, to live in a hotel for a month. So keep these things in mind. Um, I don't care, you know, what situation you are in life, whether you be a senior or even under the, the senior age, you can be affected by these illnesses and can be very, very exposed to the financial uh, factor of it. Uh, and I'll just, you know, I can talk forever about the financial impact, but I'll just share a personal story with you that really makes sense to me and kind of helps me understand why it's good to have this type of coverage. So my mother was diagnosed with brain cancer 15 years ago, and she survived for 18 months before she passed away. During that 18 months, my brother and I, we were the only caretakers. Uh, we spent more time stressing and worrying and losing sleep over how are we going to pay for all the specialized things that she needs? How are we going to cover these expenses instead of just spending time with our mom? And looking back, that's one of the biggest things that I wish I would have known or I didn't, you know, realize at the time it was before I was in the insurance business. So if that helps at all. Uh, so keep those things in mind. It, you know, my mom is one example, but this can happen to anyone. Go ahead, hit the next slide for us, please. So here's how the product works. The issue ages are 18 to 89, except in the state of California, it's 18 to 64. So when you're working 18 to 89, you can write it on just about anybody. So it doesn't have to be just for your senior clients. And I always like to mention to everyone that, you know, obviously premiums are higher when you're older, when you're, you know, elderly, you're gonna pay a higher premium for this type of coverage. Don't let that deter you from starting that conversation. Bring it up anyway, and you may find that maybe your senior client, older senior client, isn't as concerned for themselves, but they may want to buy it for their children or their grandchildren. Keep that in mind. So the way it works, again, is they, well, the lump sum benefit that's paid directly to the policyholder. And that's important to know. Some other carriers may have similar products out there right now that do not pay a lump sum. They pay you based on receiving treatment. With us, it's a lump sum paid upon diagnosis. Benefits can start as low as $5,000 or can be increased as high as $75,000. You choose that time that you are writing the policy or buying the policy. I personally have a $50,000 family plan. And I'll tell you that because I'm going to use myself as an example as we go through this. So you do have one optional rider that you can tack on. It's an ICU rider. I'm going to tell you more about that in just a minute. You can choose to do an individual plan, an individual and a spouse or a domestic partner an individual with children for like a single parent, or you can do just a straight family plan, which covers everyone in the, in the family. I have a family plan that covers myself, my wife, and we have three children between us. So all of them are covered, all for the same amount, and all for the same three illnesses. Um, when it comes to children, your premium doesn't increase based on the number of children. It's going to stay, once you buy a family plan, regardless of how many children there are, if you have three or you have 13, which thank goodness I don't have 13, they're all going to be covered and it's no additional premium. By the way, children are also covered until age 26 or until they're financially independent, which they're never financially independent. So it's going to be age 26. And it's going to be, again, the same lump sum benefit for everyone on the policy. And so here's where I'll use myself as an example to help you understand how it works. So if I were to be diagnosed with cancer, I would receive a $50,000 benefit. Now, that, only, that, that means I've used the benefit for myself. I can't ever use the benefit for cancer for myself again, but it does not affect the benefit for my wife or my children. They're still covered for the same amount for cancer. Now, let's say that once I'm diagnosed, I get my lump sum, and then I beat cancer, and I get healthy, and the next thing you know, several years down the road maybe, I have a heart attack. Well, then I get another benefit at that point. So when that happens, that policy doesn't really do anything else for me, but it still remains in effect for everyone else that's covered. So you can get a potential of two benefits. You can't do three. Now, you may be thinking, okay, but what about heart attack or stroke? Well, with heart attack or stroke, that is one or the other, not both. 
So it's a kind of a matter of whichever happens first. Now, once you've had both occurrences, then really that policy doesn't do much else for you. If you were the only one on the policy, then it would terminate at that point. But in a family plan, it's gonna remain in effect for everyone else. So hopefully that makes sense to everyone. The, the whole purpose of this is to help offset out-of-pocket expenses. As we discussed, the, the expenses involved with these types of illnesses can be very, very devastating, uh, to, to say the least. Uh, benefits are, again, paid upon diagnosis. There's no hospitalization required. And that's an important thing to know because maybe a, a person doesn't want to get treatment. Maybe they decided, you know, I've lived a good life. I'm going to take my chances. I don't want to go through the, the grueling treatment. And then they're certainly entitled to do that. That's not going to affect your benefits. So if they want to spend that money and go take a vacation or they want to go, uh, you know, buy a boat, that, that's certainly their prerogative. And that's not a problem with us. It's a 30-day waiting period. So once you buy the product, you can't get diagnosed with anything for the first 30 days. So keep that in mind. You might want to advise your clients of that. And then one unique feature that I really like about this product is that the youngest partner can be placed as the primary. And why is that important? Because the rates are going to be tied to the youngest partner. So if you have a spouse situation with a large age gap, then that's something you want to keep in mind. Uh, or even just a small age gap can make a big difference as well. Uh, I, I ran into a, a person a couple of months ago doing this same presentation. And as soon as I mentioned that, she's like, oh, my goodness, I need to buy a policy right away. And I said, okay, why? He goes, well, my husband is almost 30 years older than me. And I was like, yes, gosh, you need to buy a policy. I mean, that's a huge savings for, for that couple to be able to buy a policy tied to her who was in her probably late 20s, early 30s, and then a husband who's you know, almost 30 years older. So that's a big difference. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. You can go ahead and hit the next slide for me, John. So this is the intensive care unit rider that I mentioned before. You can add this on. It's very cheap to add on, and I think it's very well worth it. It will pay $150 per day for confinement in the ICU, but that's only for one unit of coverage, the 150. You can add up to four units, and each unit is worth $150 daily. So if you were to max it out with all four units, then it would actually be a $600 daily payout, and that's huge, and it works for 30 days at a time in the ICU. And not to mention that you don't have to be in the ICU because of one of these critical illnesses on the policy. You can, it doesn't matter the reason you're in the ICU. It can be for anything. Let's say you were in a car accident and you broke your hip and needed to be in the ICU. Well, then this benefit would certainly trigger. Uh, I do want to make a note, the benefit for the rider decreases by half at age 65. So, your rider at that point, instead of being worth $150 per day, each unit is going to be worth $75. So you could get up to $300 if you max it out at four units. So, and again, that's just for the rider. It does not affect the lump sum. There is no reduction in the lump sum ever. Go ahead and flip it for me, please. Okay. I want to also mention that this is a simplified underwritten product. So that means that you can basically go through the entire app and the only thing you can expect to answer are gonna be yes or no questions only. And if they answer all the questions correctly, then the policy will be issued. The only other thing you have to take into consideration is there's gonna be a field underwriting guide, which will have prescription drugs in it that you need to check. There is gonna be a few you know, potential knockout drugs there. So keep that in mind. Go ahead and next slide, please. And by the way, you can write this using our e-application, which if you're not familiar with our website, it's aetnaseniorproducts.com. Once you log into our website, you have e-apps available for most, pretty much all of our products except a few that aren't, you know, they're not really more of our popular products anyway, but this product and most, uh, all the ones I'm gonna talk about today are available to be written, written excuse me, through our e-application. And you can do that right over the phone. You don't have to see the client. You know, if you're out there working really hard during AEP in the fall, and then you want to follow up with all your clients in the early you know, winter in January, February, you can do it without going to see them. If you want to follow up and sell them a cancer plan or any of the plans that we're talking about today, I always like the concept of that myself. Real quickly, I'm not going to go through the app. I just wanted to show you kind of what the app looks like. This is, it's a one page app. This is the top part of the page. I couldn't fit all the, uh, the entire one page app on one slide. But this is the first half of it. As you can see, it's all yes or no questions. And if you'll flip to the next page, 
the bottom half of the app is on the next page. And there you go. And if you look, the, the bottom fourth of this, or the bottom half on this screen, is just the questions if they're adding the ICU writer. So if they're not adding the ICU writer, really it's only less than a page. It's like three-fourths of a page. So and if you guys would like apps, uh, you know, let me know. I can email them to you. Or if you'd like to go to Premier, they can get that information to you as well. Um, you know, I would suggest reviewing it. See if you have any potential candidates for this product. Go ahead, next page, please. So just to review, 18 to 89 of the issue ages. And one note on the issue ages, I had a question the other day that kind of worried me, so I always like to mention this. Those are your issue ages. That doesn't mean that if you, you can't um, use the product after age 89. Your product is good for life if you make sure you buy it before you turn 90. But once you turn 90, if you already have the product, it, it's not terminated or anything like that. Someone the other day in a, in a session I was doing was concerned that they lose their coverage when they turn 90. That's not the case. You just can't sell a policy to someone over the age of 89. It is a lump sum benefit, as low as 5,000 or as high as 75,000. As I mentioned, it's a simplified issue. You can write it using our e-app also. There's an ICU writer that's an option. You can do an individual, individual and spouse, or domestic partner, individual and children or family. It's the same benefit for every covered person on the policy. It's to help offset out-of-pocket expenses. Benefits are paid upon diagnosis. No hospitalization or treatment is required. 30-day waiting period, as we said. Youngest can be primary. And then I put a note down here at the bottom because this question usually comes up. What about skin cancer? Skin cancer is covered as long as it's the serious form of skin cancer, which is called malignant melanoma. If it's a more of a simple version like a basal cell, no, that would not trigger a benefit. It's got to be the serious form of skin cancer. And that's pretty much all I had on the cancer, heart attack, or stroke. And I'm not sure that I or John mentioned this, but your line's obviously muted. If you do have questions, use the chat or the questions feature in the webinar application, and we'll take those questions at the end of the presentation. With that, we're going to move on to the next product, which is our Hospital Indemnity Flex. Really excited about this product, especially if you're working in the Medicare Advantage market at all. This product pairs very well with any MA plan, uh, and, and even, you know, it doesn't even have to be an Aetna MA plan. It will work with any MA plan out there, uh, but, you know, you're better off if you can bundle it with an MA plan from Aetna because that helps increase your persistency. Um, you know, it's found to be more likely that a client is going to keep several products from the same company instead of having mix matched and moving them around. So just kind of food for thought. Uh, so this is kind of the strategic map that we have laid out. This is a fairly new product. We haven't quite got it launched in every state, but as you can see, everything that's green, the darker green, it's already there, and the lighter green, uh, and actually those two states, Arizona and New Mexico, they have been launched since this map was printed. So uh, the gray states, red and black, are not there. The gray we hope to get soon. The red and black probably will never get. So just kind of food for thought on that. And if you could go ahead and flip to the next screen. So I, you know, recommend this is a product that can work for anybody, by the way. It's issue ages are the same as the cancer product. It's 18 to 89. Uh, so even if you have underage clients, people that are on, you know, Obamacare or, or, or you know, a situation where they've got a, a company plan with a high deductible, they could benefit from a plan like this. So keep that in mind. This can supplement really any type of coverage. Uh, anyone who's concerned with paying expenses that occur as a result of a hospital stay or outpatient services, such as a doctor visit, a surgery, or rehab. And, you know, the way you would start a conversation, do you have a hospital copay or deductible? And if so, do you have money set aside for these out-of-pocket expenses? Most people don't. That's why they're buying, you know, a cheaper plan in most cases anyway. Go ahead, next screen, please. So with this plan, we've designed it to be very flexible and you have the ability to cover everything listed here. Hospital confinement, that's the base of the plan. You could add on skilled care received at a nursing facility, doctor's office visit, outpatient surgical procedure, ER visit or ambulance service, a cost associated with a, di a cancer diagnosis, outpatient rehab, and then just as a footnote, again, it's issue ages 18 to 89. And I can't prove this for a fact, but I've been told that if you get highly proficient at marketing this product, you will, in fact, be able to do this yoga pose that you see here. 
So keep that in mind. I hope everyone's laughing or at least chuckling a little bit. Next screen, please. Okay, hospital indemnity base. So you have to, when you go to build one of these products for your client, choose a base option. There's two options. You have the first option, which is a hospital admission indemnity. It's a lump sum payout, basically. And then you have your second option, which is a daily payout. So when you go to design the plan for your client, you have to choose one or the other here. I would recommend, personally, I'm a big fan of the daily over the lump sum, and I'll kind of walk you through and explain why. Let's start by talking about the, uh, the lump sum first. So it pays a lump sum amount for hospital confinement, including, and this is very, very important to note, this does include observational stays. So keep that in mind. That's a big, big thing we all need to be concerned about. If your observation stays aren't being covered, then you're, as a client, are getting hit with big bills, potentially. So it's available in units starting as low as $250, which that wouldn't be much of a lump sum, or you can increase it as high as $2,500 for a maximum payout. It's payable once for each new period of care. A period of care is 60 continuous days without treatment. So what that means is if I was to use the lump sum and I went into the hospital, I would get my check for whatever amount we you know, bought a policy for. And then once I'm out of the hospital, I can't benefit that same benefit again, use that same benefit again for 60 days continuously without treatment. So that's that's a little bit of exposure. That's why I prefer the daily. Um, and by the way, on the lump sum, if you were to choose that option, what I kind of would do is look at their plan, look at whatever kind of plan they have, whether it be MAPD or whether it be, you know, like a, um, a regular major medical plan uh, for someone who's younger, of course, then look what their exposure is, especially on the MA plan. So Let's say that, you know, on average, most MA plans, if they end up in the hospital for four or five days, they're usually out of pocket somewhere between $1,200 and $1,800. Or $1 so just look at that and then build your, your lump sum according to that. That would be my suggestion to you. But if you look at the other option, like the daily hospital, then I think you've got better flexibility here, and I'll explain why as we go through this. So it's going to pay a daily amount once they go in the hospital. It does include observation stays. It's available in units of $10, and you can increase it as high as $700. So again, look at their other coverage, see what their daily exposure is, and increase it to that amount. And then you also have to choose the number of days that they want to have covered. So you have a little bit of flexibility there in terms of if you chose, let's say, five days, okay? Let's say you went, you chose five days, you went in the hospital for three days. Well, you're going to be entitled to benefits for three days of daily payout, but you still have your fourth and fifth day in reserve if you happen to get sick again in a week or two. So that helps, in my opinion, to avoid that period of care, the 60 days continuous. So you can kind of beef up your number of days that you have covered. And then if you end up in the hospital just for a few days and you don't use all of your days, then that way, you still, if you happen to get sick again, end up in the hospital, you've got some other cushion there to help you. So other than that, you still, once you do you know, go through all of your number of days, then you're exposed again to the 60-day waiting period to be able to have the benefit again. And then also on the daily, if you end up in the hospital for less than a full day, you still will get half of your daily benefit. So that's not a bad deal at all right there. So those are your base options. Hopefully that makes sense to everyone. Let's move on now to the riders. And you've got a whole slew of riders that you could potentially add on here. This one's a big one. The first one that we're looking at here, daily skilled nursing. I think it's very important to add this coverage on for anyone because as we know now, what's happening with hospitals is they want to get you out as soon as possible. So you may not be well enough to go home, but you're not sick enough to be in the hospital. So they're going to send you to skilled nursing for several days or however long it takes. Once that happens, the exposure can get pretty high as well. So with this, you can add $200 per day, and you can choose the number of covered days, either 1 through 20, 21 through 100, or days 1 through 100. So you've got the ability to cushion the blow there with this option. Then you have a doctor's office visit indemnity, which I always thought this was kind of a silly rider personally, but I can't tell you over the last couple of months, in fact, even yesterday I was presenting to a group in Arizona, and they they like this. They really like the doctor's office visit, and the more I hear about it, the more I'm starting to like it too. So 
So the way it works is you can get reimbursed for your doctor's office visits starting as low as $10 or as high as $60 if you were to max it out. And you can do up to 20 visits per year. And it will work for a regular doctor visit or a specialist. So, and if you've got someone who's seeing a lot of specialists, that can get expensive. Um, not to mention, it's a disruption in your routine when you have to take, you know, time away from whatever your normal life is to go spend, you know, half a day or several hours going to the doctor. And usually when there's a disruption in your routine, that costs money uh, because you can't do your normal thing that you're, you're accustomed to. So in that scenario, this is where something like this can really help. Next slide, please. And then you have the ability to add on an outpatient surgical procedure as well. Basically, if someone were to go in for some type of day surgery, like maybe they need to get their shoulder scoped or their knee cleaned up, something along those lines, then those can get pretty costly. Well, you can once per year, if you add this rider on, and you can do it as high as $1,500 per occurrence or, or per usage, but you can only, again, use it once per calendar year, then that will reimburse them up to that amount for that type of procedure, which is a good benefit to have. And then you also have the ER visit or ambulance service, $200 flat fee or flat payout benefit, I should say. Uh, you can use it twice per year. And it, it's again, to help offset some of the blow that you're gonna be faced with if you end up having to be in the ER or, or take an ambulance visit or ambulance ride, excuse me. And then you can add on a lump sum cancer, which this is sort of a newer feature with this newer version of the hospital indemnity. And this, again, you know, if, if you've got someone out there who's a Medicare Advantage client, there's a lot of a gap or a, a big gap, a large sizable gap there for someone who, you know, gets diagnosed with cancer. So what you can do with this is you can tack it on and it will pay them back 2,500 or 5,000 or 10,000, depending on how much you choose for their first occurrence of cancer. So that's a great benefit to add on. And then another newer uh, rider that you have is the outpatient rehab. This will pay a daily amount for treatment of a covered illness or injury. Um, and this is a big thing too. When you end up in skilled nursing, you've got to usually go through rehab or even if you're recovering at home and those can get pretty costly. So it covers all three different types of therapies, occupational, physical, or speech. And it's available for either 15 or 30 visits per year, $50 per visit. So that's all the riders that we have. Period of care we discussed is 60 continuous days. Policy is guaranteed renewable. Benefits are paid directly to the policyholder. So just so everyone understands, this is gonna be a check that's paid or sent to the client once they file their claim. And we turn these claims around pretty quickly, usually less than a week. So keep that in mind. Uh, premiums don't increase due to age or health, but furthermore, they don't increase at all. We've built these products, not just the hospital indemnity, but actually all of our ancillary products, we've built them with the intention of never increasing the rates. We started getting into these products back in the mid 90s with our ancillary line of products. They've come a long way since then. During that time, we've never done a rate increase on any of them and we never intend to. That's another important thing to consider when you're selling and marketing these products. When you lock in your premium, especially hopefully those at a younger age, then your premiums are never gonna go up. Next slide, please. Again, it's a simplified underwritten product, yes or no app, no phone interview is required. You will do a prescription drug check just to make sure they don't have any kind of knockout drugs. Your pre-existing conditions will be covered after three months of the policy being enforced. Now, with that being said, keep in mind, it's gotta be a pre-existing condition that doesn't knock them out from coverage, uh, for, from being able to buy the policy also. Everything else is gonna be covered immediately. You're pre-existing after three months. Next slide, please. And again, I'm not gonna go through the entire app, but I just wanted to throw it up here so you kind of get an idea of what it looks like. As you can see, it's all yes or no. Same scenario here, it's a one-page app. I couldn't fit the entire page on one slide, so the second half is on the next slide. And you can see there, it's just you know very easy, underwritten. You know, to ask about diabetes, and yes, you can write this for someone who has diabetes. You just gotta make sure that it's not out of control diabetes. So that's one of the questions are a little specific there. So trying to move at a quick pace. I hope I'm not going too fast for you, but I don't wanna get bogged down with details too much. We can always have offline conversations if anyone wants to take a deeper dive in any of these products later on with me. Uh, just to review here, I'll just throw this up here for a minute. You've got your base options, one, 
is going to be the lump sum, and then you have the daily payout if they choose that instead. And then your optional riders are daily skilled nursing, doctor visit, outpatient surgery, ambulance and ER, cancer diagnosis, and outpatient rehab. Hopefully that all makes sense to you. We'll go ahead and move on to the next product, which is our recovery care. I love recovery care. I'm so excited that we're getting it in Texas later this month, at the end of the month, actually. Um, we haven't had it. By the way, in case I didn't mention, Texas is my home state, so I spend a lot of time there. Um, so we actually don't have it everywhere, as you can see on this map. Texas is kind of the one big one that we're trying to get it in. If you look in the upper left-hand corner, it does say June 1st, but we're, we pushed it back to the end of June, but it is, is going to be launching there. Uh, I think June 28th is the actual date, but everywhere else, you've got a big chunk of the map there that is green and good to go. And let's tell you about the product. Go ahead, next slide, please. So this is for people who are concerned about coverage for nursing care, or they don't have funds set aside for skilled stays or home health care. And that's the unique thing about this product is you can build it. It's, it's a short-term care plan, and you can go ahead and flip to the next slide, but you can build it to be like a long-term care plan. And as you know, probably if you guys have looked into long-term care at all, it's very expensive and most people have a hard time even qualifying for it. So this is a simplified issue product that isn't technically a long-term care product, but I'm going to show you how you could build it to be sort of, you know, very similar to a long-term care product. So this is the base benefit. It's a daily nursing facility, including assisted living and bed reservation. It pays a daily benefit for confinement in nursing facility or assisted living, provided the policyholder cannot perform two or more of the activities of daily living or has cognitive impairment. So what that means is that's the trigger. In order to trigger the benefits, they've got to be able to not perform two or more of the ADLs or have cognitive impairment. You can max it out up to $300 daily, and you choose the number of covered days that you'd like to have. You can do 90, 180. 270 or 360, so 360 almost a year. Not to mention, whatever the number of days you've chosen, you can use it a maximum of two times. So if you were to choose 360 days, once you've used all those 360 days, that doesn't mean the policy is no good for you anymore. You can reset the benefit by not needing any care for six months. So there's a six month period of care in there. I know that may be a little tricky, depending on the type of condition they have, but if it, if it really is a more of a short-term recovery where they need a lot of recovery over a long period of time, but it's not gonna be more than 360 days, then you can, you can re-trigger the benefit. You know, if the recovery is actually going to get them better long-term. The waiting period, you can do either zero, 20, or 100 days. I recommend zero days. The issue ages on this product are 50 to 89. So while it's not as low as some of the others, Still, you can start writing people right around age 50 now, which is when they're starting to get concerned about these types of things. Next slide, please. Okay, the other base benefit on this is that it's got a hospital, if you go back one, I think we went ahead to, we've got the hospital indemnity also built into this. So you could have up to $300 daily for 20 days of care at a time in the hospital and you can use that a total of 365 days. The reason that this is in here is because this is how we built the product. We built it on the chassis of a hospital indemnity. If you really didn't want to build a lot of hospital coverage in there, you don't have to. You do have to put the minimum though, which is just $10 daily. So just keep that in mind. Next slide, please. You do have an optional home care rider. This is where you can really build this into being more of a long-term care product. It pays for each week the beneficiary receives three or more professional home care service visits of at least one hour per visit, provided the beneficiary cannot perform two or more of the activities of daily living, excuse me, or if they have cognitive impairment. So the triggers are the same as the skilled nursing benefit. You can max it out at $1,200 weekly maximum, and you can choose the number of weeks at 13, 26, or 52. So if you put the skilled nursing at 360 days, and put the home care at 52 days, you really have a two-year long-term almost type care plan. So keep that in mind. And the same way this works as the, uh, the skilled nursing benefit, you can use your total number of weeks twice 
You just have to go through that period of six, uh, six months with no care. Next slide, please. And we already talked about the period of care. Policy, policy excuse me, is guaranteed renewable. Benefits are paid directly to the policyholder, and the premiums do not increase at all, as we mentioned, on all of our ancillary products. Next slide, please. It is simplified underwritten, yes or no application, no phone interview. You wanna check prescription drugs because there could be some knockouts there. The policy will pay for pre-existing conditions once it's been enforced for six months. Benefits for all other covered injury or sickness begin the date the policy is issued. Next slide, please. And here's just a quick sneak peek at the app. This is the first half and then the next half. And there you go, just all simple yes or no questions. And then here's just a review. Again, you've got a nursing. It's triggered by ADLs. You can do $300 daily maximum. Cover of days are 90, 180, 270, or 360. And then you've got the hospital indemnity at $300. And then the home care rider at $1,200 for 13, 26, or 52 weeks. And we're gonna wrap up recovery care and go into Home Care Plus. This product works very similar to Home Care Plus. As you can see, we've got it in most states already. Um, the cool thing about this is you can actually write it on someone who's been diagnosed with Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, or if they had cancer less, or this is one year ago. So the simple, the, you really are a lot simpler underwriting on this one. Next slide, please. Uh, if anyone's concerned about um, funds not being set aside for home health care, this is what this product does. Next slide. Uh, you can skip past this one, actually. So the base benefit is going to be, it's not, it's going to be for home care, and it's for coverage we'll pay. Sorry, one second, I've got an alert popping up on my screen. The coverage will pay a weekly benefit for in-home care by a home care practitioner or qualified staff member of a licensed home health care agency. Home care services must be medically necessary. So the trigger's different than recovery care. The trigger is just the doctor's got to initialize it. They've got to basically uh, write a prescription for it, or they have to, uh, you know, write a letter saying that this this client, this patient needs this. You need three practitioner visits per week, and it's up to $1,200 weekly. Choice of covered weeks are 13, 26, 39, or 52. You can use the total number of weeks twice. You have a waiting period of zero or 20 days. I recommend zero. Issue ages are 50 to 89. Next slide, please. You've got that same hospital indemnity built into this, $300 daily if you like, 20 day period of care, just like the last one. Next slide, please. And you've got two optional riders that you can add on. You can do the lump sum cancer, which is the same as the hospital indemnity flex. It's either 2,500, 5,000, or 10,000. You can do ER visit and ambulance service, and that's $200 per occurrence, twice per year. Next slide. Uh, period of care is the same as what we've been discussing. It's going to be 60, I'm sorry, six months. Policy is guaranteed renewable. Policy benefits are paid directly to the policyholder, and premiums do not increase. Next slide. It's simplified underwritten, just like the other products, yes or no app only. Pre-existing conditions will be covered after it's been enforced for six months. Benefits for everything else begin immediately. Next slide. And this one's really cool as far as the app goes. This is literally the entire app. So I didn't even have to break it up onto two separate pages. So like I said, this one's really easy to get issued. Uh, it's got much less underwriting than recovery care or any of the others. So I would encourage you, if you have someone that's a little bit Maybe you look, they, they, they want to buy something, they want to get some coverage, look at this product. And then there's just a review. We'll go ahead and skip. I'm trying to hurry up because I don't want to put you guys on for too long. We've got one more product to cover and we'll just go through it real quick. This is our dental vision and hearing. We ha It's really new, so we haven't launched it everywhere yet, but it should be in all the normal states very soon. This is where it's at now. Go ahead, next slide. So my big thing on this is it covers things that Medicare doesn't, and it does it for less than $50 a month. 
The coverage can be for individuals or families. Issue ages are zero to 89. Unlike our cancer heart stroke plan, the eldest applicant must be the primary. It is guaranteed acceptance. It's a guaranteed issue product. Nobody, you know, can be declined for it. So there's no health questions. It will cover dental, vision, and hearing expenses. It's gonna be either a $1,000 base plan or a $1,500 you choose. Um, you, you have a $100 deductible annually for every person that's included on the policy. You can go to any provider, but you're gonna get much, much better pricing if you go in network, which our dental network is going to be Carrington. And they're very good, they're great at being able to uh, make sure you get really good discounts on all your services. Next slide, please. So for dental, we have three different classifications of service. We've got basic, and then we have intermediate, and then class C, which is gonna be more advanced, like dentures and things like that. And then we'll go to the next slide, and I'll show you what the waiting periods are on each. So class A and B are gonna be covered immediately for each visit or for each procedure, however you wanna look at it. It will pay 60%, that's in year one. In year two, it actually increases to 70%, and then in year three, it's 80%. So it goes above and beyond. You know, it, it, you know, it gets better after the first couple of years. Uh, that will cover diagnostic exams and x-rays, non-surgical extractions, and emergency palliative treatment. Now, after 12 months, then they can start using their Class C services. That will pay 60%. That will include endodontics, including root canals, periodontal surgery, bridges, crowns, and full or partial dentures. Next slide, please. Vision, I'll just throw this up here. Basically, the way it works, it starts, the, the coverage kicks in after six months, and it will cover, basically, for you to get new glasses and or contacts every two years, which is on average what most people are getting who wear glasses or contacts. And then we'll flip to the next slide, which is gonna be for the hearing. Hearing, it will be in effect after 12 months. They can use the hearing benefits. It's 70% in year two, and then 80% in the third year, and it stays at 80% for that. And it will basically apply $500 annually from that point going forward, either to hearing exams and or hearing aids. So some additional benefit there. Next slide. So just to wrap a few things up here, we're here to help you guys. Our email address is gonna be Aetna, SS, or gosh, I'm trying to say two different things at once. The email address is AETSSI information at Aetna.com, and we're actually really good at responding to emails. Uh, website is going to be AetnaSeniorProducts.com, and the phone number is 800 264 4000, option three. That's our sales support team, so call them if you want to check anything or you know, have any questions, and you can also call me. Next slide, please. Uh, and as promised, here's the contact information for all of our regional support sales teams. Um, in the West, which is gonna be my region, you have myself and my boss, Tony Clark. And then at the home office, we have William Davis on our team as well. And then for the Midwest, you've got George Pelicanos, David Friedman, and Rose Faulkner. In the Eastern states, Jeff Nasser, Paul Erickson, and Georgia Fletcher. So hopefully you got a minute there, you can jot down a phone number or email if you wanna reach out to any of these folks. We'll go ahead and move on. I want to tell you guys about our incentive plans. I know we didn't cover our med sup product today, but I want to let you know that we've got a sales contest going on or through the end of the year that's to help you make some extra cash. This is for our med sup, and basically for underwritten med sup policies, we're going to bonus you $100 per application for every underwritten policy. For open enrollment, it's going to be $25. Next slide, please. And then this is our brand new ancillary bonus program. We're gonna bonus you $25 for a DVH sale, 25 for a cancer, heart, or stroke, 25 for a hospital indemnity, 50 for recovery care, and 50 for home care plus. And then if you pair any of those, except for the DVH, any of the others though, if you pair them with a med sub, a new med sub sale, we'll double your bonus money. So you can put, and by the way, the compensation in general on the ancillary products is really, really good. So making extra bonus money on it is pretty awesome. And then last but not least, next slide. I want to let you know we do an annual trip. Uh, we went to Miami for last year. We just went uh, a couple months ago. The trips are awesome. We go all out. As an agent, you only need $200,000 in annualized premium. 
and we're going to bonus you on underwritten business. So if you write 80,000 in underwritten med sub business, we'll give you a $30,000 credit towards that 200,000. And then if you write our e-app, if you use our e-app most of the time, we'll give you a $20,000 production credit as well. And then last but not least, the best thing and easiest way to qualify with is if you write our complimentary products, like the ones we've talked about today, all of those count three for one towards trip qualification. So you only got to write about 60, 65,000 in ancillary products, and that qualifies you for the trip. They're three for one. So take advantage of that. I'd love to see you guys in Palm Springs next year. With that, I will say thank you, and I will turn it over to John to see if he has any questions for us. And Kevin, we have one question, and you covered it. And it was the question is, does the premium ever increase? And you noted with the different products that it stays um, constant from the initial premium that was charged for the policy. So beyond that, awesome. that we've got her covered. We're going to take just a couple of minutes to speak to a couple of things that Premier will do for you in conjunction with Aetna and their supplemental products and their med sub products. So some nice things that are available to you. We do offer discounted E&O for agents that contract with our organization. We discount continuing an education credit so you keep your license in place. We we'll have a program that allows you to electronically contract with a number of programs as well. Uh, it's a, our response to carpal tunnel syndrome where you only have to fill it out once, create a profile, and then pull and fill contracts out electronically so it's a nice time saver. We do periodic uh, educational opportunities of different webinars that are both recorded and live in many circumstances. They change each month, so watch for those and the invitations that come out to you. We do offer different electronic support as well. So as Kevin mentioned during his presentation, it, it's a lot easier once we get in the habit to do things electronically, uh, the, the applications process more cleanly and more quickly which means we get paid more quickly. So uh, accessing electronic support is a very big advantage to agents with whatever products they have. And we have a specialized program for that for our Medicare Advantage, uh, select Medicare Advantage and prescription drug programs as well. We do also offer an exclusive program for social media. So a way to help you prospect and keep in touch with your client base through Al Gore's wonderful wide world web and a, a comprehensive lead program for you as well. Opportunities to present such programs as what Kevin mentioned today through community-based programs. Um, we work with a number of different retail marketing programs. We have specialized initiatives to work with faith-based organizations and providers in the community um, and other ways of offering different lead support, including an innovative direct mail support program, which steeply discounts the cost of a mailing based on production. All said and done, it's an opportunity with different products to make certain that you serve your prospects and clients as thoroughly as possible, not only to cover all of the needs that they have, but also to create multiple income streams for you and your agency, and we would like to help you with that business. So the old story of when all is said and done, more is said than done. Well, you were presented a great portfolio of supplemental products today that I will guarantee just about everyone that you speak to needs one or another of them. And you can't really determine based on your own perception who needs what. And I'll throw in a very quick personal example. Cancer, heart attack, and stroke, I'm fighting cancer. And as I came out of the hospital, my older brother stayed with me uh, when I wasn't allowed to be alone. I'm finding it successfully, by the way. But I never thought I'd have cancer. You don't know. My brother stayed with me a period of time, went home, had a stroke within two months of going home. He never anticipated that either. And you really don't know what those extra expenses are going to be until you experience them. So... If you don't have a cancer or heart attack or stroke policy, I urge you to get one. I urge you to also contract with that portfolio of products that Aetna offers so you can offer it to your, con your, to your prospects and clients as well because it's something you need to incorporate into your own personal marketing plan. 
And once you do that, commit to yourself that you're going to actively market and follow through. This is contact information for folks here in our Dallas office. Um, we'd be happy to help you in any way we can with the Aetna portfolio. Uh, if you are currently working with uh, another marketing uh, person within our organization, you can reach any of us through the 1-800-365-8208 toll-free number, and we'll be more than happy to get you all the information on the Aetna supplemental programs that were discussed today and the Medicare supplement programs as well. We want to thank you for coming on the line with us today and spending some time, and we wish you good selling. Thanks so very much, and have a great day.